Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Ingenious Smart Mesh Router. It's the ESR530, and this is the two-pack. And this was provided me by Ingenious, but they're not paying me to make this video, and they're not reviewing it before I post it. I'll put a link in the description where you can get this on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So taking a look at the box here, it says Ingenious Smart Control Apps. It has NMesh Easy Setup, NFile Personal Cloud, and File Management. It says home mesh Wi-Fi system, keep your smart home connected. So they show a diagram of a home here and you have one router over here and one here. On the bottom it says easy setup and control. Download the NMesh app to easily set up and control your Wi-Fi system. Get new features and updates with automatic firmware upgrades. Higher performance, greater capacity. AC2200 performance delivers fast Wi-Fi speeds and supports users concurrently with reliable Wi-Fi. Seamless Wi-Fi coverage. Easily expand your wired or wireless network coverage by deploying additional mesh routers anywhere you need. Maintain device connectivity with seamless roaming. Smart Link. All devices in the mesh network will auto-detect the best link quality to ensure optimal Wi-Fi connectivity. Smart Link detects and fixes network issues for optimized performance. Personal Cloud Storage. Connect an existing storage device via USB port on the smart router to create personal cloud. Access your files from anywhere for greater mobility. Parental controls, create secure guest networks and control network usage and access. And then on the end here it says wireless, it supports IEEE 802.11 AC, A, B, G, and N, simultaneous dual band 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz wireless with MU, MI, MO, wireless dual band speed 400 plus 867 megabits per second. Interface is two gigabit ethernet ports of WAN and LAN, USB 2.0 for remote file sharing, power adapter, it's 12 volts at one amp, the dimensions are 127 by 57.2 millimeters. Security is Wi-Fi protected access, WPA2. Comes with two smart routers, two power adapters, one network cable, and one quick start guide. So let's get this opened up. Okay, so we have two routers here. We have two power adapters, an ethernet cable, and these are some anchors and screws for mounting. Pull the plastic off here. It's always the best part. Okay, so here's one of them. It's kind of a white puck. It's a glossy white. It has ingenious embossed on it. But if you see, if I put it at certain angles, it doesn't stick out too much, so it's not intrusive. We have a status light there. Uh, there's little rubber feet on the bottom, so it grips against the surface. And then there's also these anchors, so you can hang it on a wall. On the bottom side, we have DC in, WAN, LAN, and USB. It says the rating is 12 volts DC at 1 amp. So this is where you would plug in your external USB drive. And then WAN would be for a wide area network or your internet, and LAN would be your local area network. And the other one is identical to it. So you can add more of these too. So that's where this is a pretty good deal is you get this box here and you have enough to set up a starter Wi-Fi mesh. And then if you have a large house, you can get another one of these and place it somewhere else to get full coverage. And pretty basic power adapters here. So I thought it was weird this didn't come with instructions, but they're still in the box. <laughs> so it says Ingenious New Generation Home Wi-Fi. It says download the NMesh app. So you download that and then you do set up mesh network. And download the NFile app. And it says easy share your files with the NFile app. And on the back side we have, looks like French, there. Okay, so I'm going to install the NMesh app on my iPad and then I'll continue the video from there. Okay, so I'm on my iPad and I've gone to the App Store and I've searched for NMesh and I have this NMesh for home. And you can do this on Android with the Google Play Store also. I've downloaded it already and then I'll hit open. Okay, so I have the NMesh app open now. At the bottom here you'll see it says create new mesh network, click wizard. I'll hit that. It says what you will need, the mesh router, ethernet cable, and power cord. It says before we get started, be sure your router, ethernet cable, and power cord are ready. It says connect the router's WAN port to the modem with the ethernet cable. The router connected to the modem will be the master router of the whole mesh network. Then it says power up. Power up your router and wait for the LED indicator color to change white to orange. So I'm going to go plug this into my network and I'll wait for that light to change. Okay, so the light turned orange. It says allow NMesh to use your location. I'll say allow while using app. Now it wants me to scan the QR code. So the router's in a different area from where I'm at now, so I took a picture with my phone. Once to access the camera, I'll say okay. I think that's gonna work. 
And it says Enmesh wants to join the Wi-Fi network ESR setup B01381. I'll hit join. It says the LED indicator will change to orange short flashes when the Wi-Fi connection is successful. A few steps until the setup is complete. Keep going. I'll hit next. It says name your master router. I'll just leave it living room. Select your country. I'm in USA. Hit next. It detected my internet type and I do use PPPoE so I'll enter in my credentials here. I'll hit save. It's connecting to the internet. Okay, it says internet connected. I'll hit next. Now it wants me to create an Enmesh account, so I'll do that. I'll hit next. It says set up Wi-Fi SSID. So I'll change this. Okay, so I'm going to change this password obviously later after the video is over. I'll hit next. It wants me to check all this information, then it says save and apply. I'll hit that. Okay, it says you are all set. It says still have uninstalled devices. Click add more devices to set up all devices at one time. Okay, so I have the second access point. I'll plug that into an outlet. I'll set that up now, so I'll hit add more devices. It says Enmesh wants to join the Wi-Fi network RickMesh. I'll say join. It says what I need is the mesh device and the power cord. It says plug in device to power up additional devices and wait for the LED indicator to change from white to blue orange to be paired to your mesh network. It says for additional devices already powered up, please power the devices off and on again. Okay, so I plug the other Wi-Fi access point in. Okay, so it's turned orange. It says, please select mesh devices. So I have it showing here and I have this within three meters of the other one. So I'll hit that to check it, I'll hit next. It says mesh Wi-Fi pairing success. All the LED indicators of devices have changed to white. I'll hit next. It says you are all set. Easily add more devices to join your mesh network. You can deploy all devices to where you need Wi-Fi within your home. So I'll hit, you are all set. And here we have the little dashboard. So at this point you can go to your other devices and you can add in the SSID and password that we set on here and connect them up to the Wi-Fi network. So that's where I'm going to stop this video. I'll make future video going in depth into this interface a little more. But in the meantime, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.